For more information, please visit our website at darkcybernetics.com. This is Dark Cybernetics, Mathematics for Computer Scientists, Volume of a Pyramid. Follow along with our free course documentation. In this video, we'll quickly discuss how to compute the volume for a pyramid. We know that a pyramid has four base sides which meet in a point. It's a three-dimensional shape and we simply need to know to compute the volume, what we call V, um, the length times the width times the height. And we would divide this by the portion that's like a triangle, so we would divide it by three. So our length in this case, let's give it some arbitrary number, right? Something we can divide by three to make it much easier for an example. Let's give each value the length and the width. Let's give those the value nine. And for a height, we can give it some other value that's a little bit more even. Let's give it 12. So length could be nine. Our width could be nine. And our height could be nine. All right, let's make a nine here. Let's fix that. Okay, so we can simply we can simplify this time. Let's plug and place the numbers in. So for our length, our length this time was nine. V is equal to all right, let's draw a line all over three. All right, we should multiply the length times the width times the height. Since multiplication is community, we can really mix and match the numbers this time in this case. So nine times nine times twelve, and we know nine times nine is eighty-one times twelve. So we should get a nice number like, um, so what is it? Nine hundred and something. So nine seven three. Right, Time divided by three, so nine seven three nine hundred and seventy three divided by three is equal to what three two four, and let's write three two four three hundred and twenty four inside of the shape. And for more information, please visit our website at darkcybernetics.com.